Hi guys, why am I coming from my house? Because all the video I had shot for you earlier, <gasps> I got the black screen of death. I thought it was supposed to be the blue screen, but no, it's the black screen. So I am heading back out to my studio to do a once over real quick and share with you uh, the happenings of this week. I always promise to be real on here and that is exactly what I'm gonna do. Uh, I am standing in my cold, wet floored studio, but I'm excited to be in here and it's still not completely finished, but the beauty, the, there's like the, the up and the downside. The downside is everything's not completely done and I didn't get a whole lot done on the wheel. I got one thing done. Hold on a second, let me show you. I was able to get this cup done. I'm so excited, yeah. I did one thing on the wheel just so I could feel satisfaction. Okay, so here is my glaze wall. I love it. It is only holding the, the chips that I love the colors of. I've removed all the other chips that I'm not planning on taking over to porcelain. And I have all of those glazes on the shelf here. Not all of them, they're, they're kind of intermixed right now. But I'm gonna take uh, those and use it for the big project. And I'll share that with you in just a second. I have about 1,250 pounds. Oh, I'm getting excited thinking about it. I have about 1,250 pounds of clay I need to unload. So I thought it better to make things with. And what I decided to do is do something called dinnerware dash. It's mostly brown speckled stoneware. And I'm going to just blast and do a dash on making tableware, dinnerware, plates, dishes, bowls, cups, maybe even spoons. I'm just gonna go crazy trying to use up this clay. Dinnerware dash is gonna be awesome. And we're, I'm gonna start throwing tomorrow. Even if my studio is not done, I'm gonna clean a little bit every day. By mid-March, I wanna have it all finished. The black screen of death did not kill my phone, but it killed everything on it. So all you have is me this time and my quick tour of the studio. But the most important thing this week was the vision board and finding out how to find my voice. And that was an interesting study. Just really quick, a lot of people don't know what it means to find your voice. Well, basically, if you think of your cell phone with voice recognition, it understands the nuances in your voice that makes you different from other people. Uh, if you look at your favorite artist or sculptor or painter or potter, you're gonna be able to go, you know what, that one was made by Warren McKenzie. That one was made by Hugh Su Lee. I have my favorites out there and I pulled all of those together, took little imagery of them and put it in a collage, which I'm gonna call my vision board. It'll keep growing and changing as time goes on. The perk? I put it in my blog, hobbypotter.com forward slash blog. I made a PDF of the four phases of development in finding your voice. Uh, it was an article by Henry Todd, but I put it in one quick PDF for myself and I thought, well, I can just put it out on my blog so you guys can go get it. Um, it's free, um, no big deal. Just go download it, print it so that you can learn where you are and where you're starting from. So hope you guys enjoyed this week. Please, please, please accept my apologies. I am so sorry. We'll see you next time. Hit subscribe. Go check out my other 500 and something videos if you want to see something happening in clay. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Well, good morning, sweetheart.